Alright buddy, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at a Raichu Electric deck in Expanded. Um, my last video I asked you guys if you wanted to see this deck, and people were like, yeah, do it, and I was like, alright, cool, so, here you guys go, I promised you guys I would do one when I felt better, and yeah, that's why I have not uploaded in six days, because I have been pretty sick, and yeah, I've had a bad cough also for the past couple days. And, you know, when I did feel better, I didn't want to make a video when I was coughing so much, because no one would want to watch that, like, that's just, it's annoying. So, yeah. But hopefully, hopefully I don't cough too much. I may, may cough once or twice, just only because I'm still sick. It's hard, I, I can't resist the cough. So, yeah. Now, I also kind of want to do a top 5 best decks in standard of 2017. Um, I did this last year with 2016. So I might do it again this year, just because that video was so fun to make. I kind of liked making the video and coming together with like you know, the decks. How it was like, all right, what deck would be better? You gotta consider like, okay, the deck was good now, but back then it didn't even exist, you know, kind of thing. So I might do that. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get into today's deck. Raichu Electric and Expanded. Again, I asked you guys if people want to see this. People said sure. So here we go. So Raichu GX obviously is a very strong card. But it never has been able to blow up. One of the reasons why is because it is a little weak in terms of what it hits for weakness and what it is weak to. It is a lightning type, which doesn't hit too much for weakness, only real like Celesteela and like Wishy Washy. Um, but in Expanded, at least you can maybe hit like an Evelve Ball and a Mega Ray for weakness, which isn't bad. Um, you also are weak to fighting, which we already know right now fighting is an extremely prominent type. Even in expanded, fighting is still kind of popular with like Buzzwool, Landorus, Lycanroc is still pretty popular. So, oh, and Marshadow and Night March. So it's like, yeah, Raichu is pretty underwhelming and expanded um, still, but it's still got a little better because we at least have more interesting support for it in the form of Electric. Now, Raichu in standard, I don't think it's like awful because there are there is not a lot of good lightning cards to pair it with. Like you got Max Elixirs, you got Zerkatree, you got like even Jolteon, you got Coco, you got Baby Raikou, Electrode. But in expanded, we have Electric, which is probably a better partner because Electric's ability is just straight up stronger. So the idea here is to use Raichu with Electric. And it's just that simple. Electric, we already know, has the ability Dynamotor. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may attach a basic light energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So we'll use Dynamotor to power up our Raichu. We can build up its attack powerful Spark, or we can build up the attack Thunder. Either or would be a good attack. We also have Voltail GX, which isn't a terrible GX attack. It's okay. Um, obviously, it's the same thing as Ice Beam GX, but we do have that option. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Now, the only two other attackers I put in this deck, other than Lele, of course, is Raikou and Tapu Koko. I was considering Jolteon because if you play against Night March, you could probably beat them because I don't think Night March plays Pokemon Ranger in their list. Um, so you can run Jolteon in here to counter Night March, but we already have Karen. If you want, you could take out Karen and throw in Jolteon because unless they have Zoark, like Night March probably will not be able to beat you unless they like evolve into like Lampen or something crazy. I don't know. So. Yeah, you could probably take out Karen, throw in Jolteon. Jolteon might be better because that's a free retreat, so I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do with this deck. Um, but yeah, those are the two attackers. I haven't played anything like Zerkatry. And the reason I'm not playing Zerkatry is because Hex Maniac is like incredibly popular and expanded. Like, you're going to run into Hex Maniac. There's also stuff like Alolan Mux, so Zoar can probably beat the tech. So Zerkatry doesn't work in expanded because of Hex Maniac and stuff like that. So I didn't bother. I just went with Raikou. It's an Ani X attacker, and I went with Coco because it's really good. Tapu Thunder is better than Voltail. So yeah, I do go with one Soda Widow. Skyfield decks are still pretty popular. Soda Widow will shut them down. This will make the Zork matchup easier. I've also went with a Thunder Choice Band Professor Kikui combo to counter Zoark and maybe Golisopod too. Those cards will combo nicely to beat them because. Thunder does 160, Choice Band 190, Kukui will do 210, which is enough to knock out Zoarks and stuff like that, so we're going to try that out. We're going to kind of rely on Powerful Spark, but Thunder is an option. We do play two Rough Seas also to help us heal up a bit. Um, we got our two Leles for Wonder Tag. 
I do have Energy Drive here, which is a good attack with Electric also, because you can build it up fairly easily. I've gone with a 3-3 lineup. I had a 4-4, but considering that we already have 3-3 Raichu, it's like already too much, so I've gone with a 3-3 uh, line. Plus, we have Karen and Stretcher, which we can use at any time, right? So, I feel like it's okay to go with a 3-3 lineup of Electric. I think we can get away with it. Anyways, yeah. I would, um, stuff you would add, right? What would you add? Well, first thing I would add... Maybe if you had room, I would maybe add this Raichu. It's not terrible. You can do Volt Tackle for 130, which is a lot of damage. And you also have Evo Shock to your advantage. So this Raichu wouldn't be bad. You can even run the Circle Circuit one. This one would probably be a little stronger because you have Circle Circuit to work with. And again, in a format where a lot of people do play Skyfield, you could take advantage of Circle Circuit. Unfortunately, you're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage um, with Circle Circuit because you might not even be able to fill up your bench. But you could take out Sudowoodo and throw in a Raichu if you really wanted to. Um, I wouldn't mind this card. Again, it is nice to have in those Skyfield matchups, but it's up to you. Um, those are the two like tech cards I would actually add, or just more Raichus. What do you know? So yeah, let's go into the items. Two battle comps to get energy in the discard pile, or just excess cards. One computer search. I've gone with computer search over like scoop up or dowsing machine, because it's just better to be able to search. One field blower. Um, yeah, I know Garboder's in the format, but it's not as popular as you may think. I actually don't run into too much Garboder in Expanded, um, but that's just personal preference. So you could probably fit in a second one if you can. One level ball. Level ball can search for your Tynamos, your Electrics, your Pikachus. Very important to have. One Stretcher to be able to get back to Pokemon. Four Ultra Balls to search for your Pokemon. Four VS Seekers for your supporters. We do have quite a few supporters in here. We got one Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla is sometimes just nice to have. We got one Bridget. Turn 1 Bridgets are very important with this type of deck. Um, two Guzmas. I got with Guzma over Lysander because sometimes retreat is, the switch is better because you can abuse it. With Dynamotor. One Karen to be able to beat Night March. Two ends for draw. We got four Sycamores for draw. Sycamore also can help you get energy in the discard pile. And one Professor Kakui just to do that 20 extra damage because against Zoark, this can make the difference with Thunder and a Choice Band. I do play two Rough Seas also in here to be able to heal your Raichu. Like if you use Thunder, you're already taking 30 damage, so I don't know. You might as well play like two Rough Seas while you're at it. Three Choice Bands for that extra 30 damage. We got two Float Stones to be able to retreat for free. And 10 basic lightning energies. So yeah, this is the Raichu Electric deck that I have put together here and expanded. I didn't know the best way to build it at first. In all honesty, I was kind of back and forth with what I wanted to do in here. Originally, I had a 4-4 Electric lineup, a Jolteon. Um, I played a more thicker Raichu line, like even 2-2 Raichu. But it is the Raichu show, so I went with 3-3. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see if this deck can end up working out for us. Who knows? Let's find some matches with the deck on PDCGO, and, uh, I don't know, let's see if Raichu and Expanded is, like, at least somewhat decent. Alright guys, let's get some games with our deck. Kinda does suck, cause I was so sick, I did miss out on quite a bit of the extra wheel thing. The extra wheel event. Sucks that I did miss out on it a little bit, only because how sick I was. But, hopefully, hopefully, I'm not sick ever again. Just kidding. I think it might still be going on. Actually, no, I think I think I saw that it ended on the second, and it is the second at the time we're recording this, so who knows. Playing against the Volcanian deck, uh, which I don't know how I feel. Yeah, this hand either not really too good. I'm gonna have to open up with Soda Widow for now and pray that I can at least do something or draw something here. Um, he is gonna mulligan, so maybe that'll help us. Who knows? Okay, Starmie and Kiawe tells me this isn't even a expanded deck, which is actually kind of nice. I don't know. If it's not an expanded deck, that'd be hilarious. Uh, there are people that play expanded without expanded decks, which is, I mean, I find it funny, but we'll see if he's not. I mean, the thing is, no one plays Starmie in expanded Volcanian, so who knows? We'll draw an extra card. Okay, at least it's something that's, I guess, okay. I don't know. Okay. I'm not drawing too well here. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna bait my opponent out and wait like five seconds and then pass. Make it look, I'll make it look like I don't have anything. Um, or like I have something, I'm holding on to it. I can't really, I mean, I can't really just straight up pass. I gotta like, pretend I'm taking my time and like I'm thinking things out. Because I don't have a good hand. Turnator is a little annoying though because it, this thing does do a, quite a bit of damage actually, and it could one shot my Raichus. The Fighting Fairy Belt is going to help it too, so I won't be able to 
You might be able to knock it out with a thunder with a choice band. I mean, we kind of have to draw something, but we don't draw something, we're screwed. I'm pretty sure he's grabbing Kiawe here. No, oh, he's grabbing Lily. Huh. Okay, I'm surprised he, unless he was prized, because I would have grabbed Kiawe there. That would have been a good turn to Kiawe, because I mean, there's an active Sudo Widow. I wouldn't mind Sudo Widow, though, in this game, because Roadblock might actually save us. Because it'll hurt him from having less Pokemon on his bench. I think I should go for Coco too. Tapu Coco should probably come into play at some point also. Um, obviously, Volk's probably gonna have a lot of energy in play. Okay, we drew an end, which is good, so we can finally get going. I was actually considering just putting Rough Seeds down just so I don't draw it, but I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, we do have a Float Stone. We can attack him here. Okay, now, we, we have, like, enough cards to, like, do something. If we were able to actually thunder him here, we would have had a knockout, which would have been really big. Dang it, dude. I don't know what to actually do with this hand. There's just too many cards to not want to get rid of. Because I can just Ultra Ball or Computer Search. I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to pass and try and see what my opponent does. I don't think he's playing an expanded deck, so I don't want to just, like, give up his hand. We'll see if he goes for a Lysander or not. Hopefully not. I, like, I don't... Uh, he could do Blacksmith. We'll see. We'll see if Sudowoodo lives. I kind of want Sudowoodo to live, only because Roadblock is actually kind of useful here. Uh, he's going to end me. I probably should just put the Flowstone on, to be honest with you. But, I mean, if he does play a... If he does play a Field Blower, then... There you go. Alright, let's see what we get here. Hopefully a Sycamore. Alright, that's fine. We have Raikou, which we can use. If we can find our float, we might actually be able to knock out this uh, Turdinator. So actually, I have an idea. What we can do, we can do computer search. No, I don't know. This is going to be weird. This is going to be weird. I might just... I, so I could Battle Compressor away Lele, Rescue Stretcher back, or draw Lele. That works too. Alright, we should have a knockout here if this works out in my favor. Mm, we're gonna need quite a few cards. Let's do Battle Compressor first, then out the deck. I'm gonna get rid of. Get rid of Bridget. Get rid of Karen, that's for sure. Alright, we do have all our tools, so. Hopefully we draw it. I'm gonna get rid of a second light energy. I could have went to Coco, but we don't have a knockout. I was actually thinking of doing that too, but yeah. There's only three energies in play. So what I'll do is I'll do computer search for a choice band. Hmm. See if we get a knockout here. I wish I could. Oh, man. Actually, I would have had the KO if I didn't. Uh, if I didn't pitch Raikou, I actually could have knocked him out. Yeah, because I could have attached a light energy. Oh, rip. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. I need to... I need to get a float stone and an electric. Okay, we're good. We got him, we got him, we got him. We got him. Right, that was pretty close, actually. I was like, uh, did I screw up? But I didn't. We get to keep Sita Wudo in play, which is kind of nice. And uh, we can just come in and thunder and knock out this Tapu Koko GX. Now... We're taking a buttload of damage in the process. I forgot he did Shell Trap. So we'll see if we actually end up getting knocked out here by Volk. Does he play Blacksmith? Let's find out. And if he knocks me out, we could be in trouble because we actually wouldn't be able to... I mean, we could hit him with Lele. No, Blacksmith, you suck. Ugh. No, Raichu. Raichu, Raichu, Raichu. Why can't you ever take a hit? Oh man, that really sucks. We'll have to attack with Tapu Lele, which I don't want to do, but kind of have to. Could we knock him out, actually? So we could do up the pretend. I mean, we gotta get a uh, 
an electric, but we'll, maybe we could knock him out with Lele? I don't know. It's kind of annoying that he got me, though. Alright, let's see. If we could draw electric here, we could Kikui and Choice Ban. No. Really wish I had a second Tynamo down. I just dump this hand. Can't really do much else with it. Don't want to put rough seas in play because obviously Volk can take advantage of that. Alright, we are good. We did indeed get a electric. Would have been nice to get another Tynamo down though. I need to build up more Tynamos. At least we can hit him for 100 damage here. He'll have to retreat. Oh, whoops, I almost didn't. Almost into Dynamotor, that would not have been good. Alright, let's knock him out. I don't think I've played a Guzma yet, though. I haven't. I would wanna- I do wanna Guzma this Volcanian up at some point next turn to knock it out. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I guess my game plan is maybe just charge Pikachu up and just knock out this after I take out this Volk. Let's see how much damage he does. And before that last card in his hand is Sycamore. Okay, good. Alright. Still doing 80 damage, though. Jesus. Um, okay. Can we draw Guzma? We do not. Could do... Mm, I was thinking do an Ace Rolla. It doesn't matter. Dang it, dude. I wish I had... Really wish I had a Guzma there, that would have been so nice. So, so nice. We could do Tapu Coco. Yeah, let's do that. Coco gets knocked out though, this could be bad. But we can take him out with Tapu Coco GX. Right? Is that. Yeah, that's probably the best play we do. Yeah, just arrow trail him for 130. I do want to save Coco for later in case like he does get like a bunch of energy into play somehow, but I think it's safe to do this. Dynamotor. I'm probably just going to put on Raichu. I would put it on Raikou, but it's going to take a few turns to build up. We can just knock him out Sky High Claws. So we'll see what happens next turn. We'll take our prize. Sycamore. Okay, that's actually good. Another draw supporter. How many VS Seekers do I have left? I have two VS Seekers, so what I need to do is take out this Volk. So, we can do that next turn unless he ends me to three here. Okay. He doesn't have a good hand, which is good. He can attack me with Lele next turn, I guess. He's only doing 100 damage, though, so we don't gotta worry. So, I'm gonna do another Dynamotor and just charge him up. And I'm gonna... Okay, I don't... Uh, let's just Ultra Ball away the Tynamos. I was like, should we get rid of them? But we might as well, who cares? I mean, worst comes to worst. We still have... Like, be a secret for Karen, so I don't know. So yeah, let's take out this Volcanian. I could also have Tapu Thunder at that, but obviously Volk's more of a threat. Even though, technically, we could take out the Lele and then knock out Volk later, but we'll do this instead. Actually, maybe I should have brought out Raichu and then save Coco for later. Nah, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking. Because we need Coco to take out that ball. Because either way we win. Hey, there's our last VS Seeker. So, yeah, next turn we are going to be able to win the game. Unless my opponent does something else. See, my opponent doesn't have anything. He does not. So yeah, there we go. Expanded Raichu beat Volk. I actually was not expecting to win that game, to be honest with you. Um, but, no, we did. I didn't see any VS Seekers for my opponent, so I don't know. It was weird. Let's check his deck, actually. Oh, he had VS Seekers. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe... It, I guess I didn't see him. I don't know. 
I didn't. I thought he wasn't like playing an actual like expanded deck there. And yeah, I still can't talk though. Like, hold on, I, I want to see if this wheel bonus thing is over. It is rip. Yeah, it's over rip. Kind of sucks. I wasn't able to take too much advantage of it, but uh, that's why I get for being sick. So we will do another game with our deck, obviously. That was a pretty good match, I'd say. We showed off the deck nicely there, I think. So we'll uh, keep going on, and uh, we'll keep trying to find some more games. So looks like the next match is going to be up against a fight deck. Not good. Not good. This is like basically an auto loss. This is basically an auto loss. I might as well just stick it out though and just try and see what we can do. We'll see if it's gonna be Buzzwool like or not. Cause he does have water type water type in his deck, which kinda confirms it might be. Doesn't have any Tapu Lele's, but he probably plays Octillery over Lele. Well this hand exists. Don't really know what to do with it. I'm gonna open up a Tynamo because I don't know if I can get an energy in the discard. Maybe we can like charge up IQ. I don't know. We'll see. Coco is kind of really gonna be our only attacker here, to be honest with you, because it's not weak to anything. So at least Coco doesn't have a weakness to fighting. That's not a good draw. Well, is Tynamo gonna live? I mean, even if it gets knocked out, whatever, we... I don't know, we'll see if it survives the turn. Alright, Tynamo lives. Oh, corner. Does he... Okay, can we draw something good? We do, nice. I think we can actually win here. We might be able to win on this turn. Oh, yeah, we just need to grab a light energy and we win. Well, that happened. Um, was not expecting to beat a fighting deck, but uh, there you go. That is how you beat. That's how you beat fighting. You, you just you build up a turn two Raikou somehow and you, you knock out a baby Rock Ruff. Alright, that could have went a lot worse if my opponent guy had been going, so I'm kind of glad that we were able to pull off a nice quick win there. Another batch of tournament tickets. Let's see. No, it was not, but... Okay, I I don't know. This was... Wow. That's a weird deck. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. Alright, never mind. So, he was not playing a Buzzwell Lycanroc. Um, I guess, I don't know. Alright, let's just get another game. Before it's another fighting matchup. Kappa Ross. Nope. Alright, so we're playing a Shadow Case who's indeed going to be running a. Might be a Zoark deck, I think it is, because Grass could be Execute, and Dark could be Zoark. But you know what? I uh, did build my deck to hopefully beat him, so we'll see. Come on, Bridget wouldn't be bad. Alright, he's gonna Mulligan, which is nice. I can draw extra cards. Probably gonna have to do Sycamore here. No, it is not a Zoark deck. Never mind. I thought it was going to be Zoark, because Zoark plays like a couple of executes. Or one. Ooh, three extra cards. Don't mind if I do. Okay, no Bridget. Rip. Oh, it is a Zoark deck. Okay, I guess it is. I don't know. Oh, no, we do have Bridget. What am I saying? So, yeah, we can do Lele here for Bridget. Hey? Do we have Soto Widow? Okay, we do. Good. I will see if Tynamo can get out of the active this turn too, or next turn, sorry. So we'll grab Pikachu, Tynamo, and Soto Widow. We'll play this now, I think. I'm already probably going to get rid of an extra energy next turn anyways, so we might as well just burn this. Get rid of... Actually, I don't really know what I want to get rid of here. I'll get rid of a Guzma, just so we don't... I'll get rid of Guzma and Ace Roll this so I don't... So I can put them in the Paro for VS Seeker. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, so my opponent is also going to get to run Bridget, but with Sidowoodo in play, his Zoark is only going to be maxed out at 130k. 
case, go listen to Art Hmm. Okay, that really begs the question if he plays um, Skyfield or not. I know, I think Ghostbot Zor did see play in Expanded with it, but it was in the Skyfield version, I'm pretty sure. What I do want to do is do that Thunder play. There's a reason, <clears throat> pardon me, there's a reason why I put Professor Pikachu in this list. And if we can combat this, this would be really nice. I'm just going to spread out energy a little bit. I mean, I'm not attacking him this turn, so we can kind of just chill for now. Next turn, we are going to be able to Guzma. I might actually even Voltail, like, Coco could be good, but uh, we'll see if he even gets that much energy in play in the first place. We're just seeing Ultra Ball. I can't remember if I saw Psychic or not, but I'm assuming he plays Lele. We're probably going to see, could see a Guzma of his own. Alright, we'll see if he's going to do Guzma or like... Guzma or... Okay, never mind. He's probably going to go for Alt Sycamore here. Knocks me out though. I could draw... Oh, he's Chorus. Never mind. Well, that's even better. Actually, I didn't put Chorus in this deck. I just realized. Oh my god. Gosh, <laughs> I forgot to put Chorus in here. Alright, well, that's my bad, guys. You guys are probably gonna... I don't think anyone's really gonna care. It's just Chorus, but... I'm gonna care. Oh, he is knocking it. Okay, so... What we'll do here is... We will Thunder him. If we can draw Kikui, I really wish... If, dude, if I... Why didn't I battle comp away Kikui? We would have had a KO here. Not all Voltail him. Rip. Don't know if Voltail will stick though, because face roll up, we'll see. Okay, there's the Kikui. We didn't put Choice Band on. <laughs> the timing was not right. We do have Coco. We could technically go into Coco here and maybe hit him for 130. And then I get crossing cut in. Nah. Let's just do Volt Tail and see if it works. Maybe I should have put that other Tynamo down, but I didn't want to. Maybe I should have, though. I don't know. We'll see if this works or not. Let's see. Never mind. Nope. He's got the Ace Roller rip. I could do Kikui if I don't draw Choice Band and then Prey gives me Choice Band. It's the only way I can knock out this Galisopod. Unless I draw via Seeker, I can probably do Ace Roller here, which is probably what I'm going to do. Hmm, I think I'm going to have to go into Coco. We just used our GX attack too, so we can't knock out this Lele. Oh, whoops, don't want to do that. I guess we'll just hit him for 130. Still, if we had Choice Band, we could knock him out. But we don't. So we'll do Sycamore here, Let's see if we can get anything good, we got Field Blower, we got Rough Seas, which is good. We'll see how long Rough Seas stays in play for. Um, is it worth Field Blowing that off? I don't think it is, I think we'll wait a turn. So we only play one, so... And we'll hit him for 130. Kinda regret doing that Volt Tail play, but I thought it was worth the risk. At this point, it'd be nice to be able to just tap with Thunder, but I can't. Okay, he does play Skyfield. It only benefits me, though. He'll end me too, which is fine. I could still potentially knock out a Galissapod this turn. Let's see. Nope, we did not get a combo. Ooh, his Lele's getting knocked out, though, too, which is good. I okay, might as well just take advantage of Skyfield. Coco's not getting knocked out anytime soon, so we'll knock him out. I need to get, like, something off these prizes that can help me. 
Lele and a level ball. Okay. Lele's good, but I, fortunately I've already... Level ball is actually a dead card. Those are dead cards. We can't put Lele down. We can't do level ball. Because I already have an electric in my hand. We need to get like a versus seeker or something. And a choice band. Okay, never mind. He's going to armor press, so... Yeah, that went out the window. But I guess we can go into Raikou, right? No, we can't. Never mind. We cannot go into Raikou here. Do we have an... I don't think we have an energy in the... Did we do Because that electric would have been lit up. Rip. Rip the dream. About the field blower those two off. Don't want to get knocked out here. Dang it, dude. I really wish I could just hit him with Raikou here. That'd be so nice. I can't really give up a prize. I think I just... We'll sacrifice Pikachu. He might have a Guzma, but we'll see. Or I could have done Dynamo. Or maybe. Whatever. Whatever, we already have the Flowstone in play. I am an idiot. I could have done Dynamo. <laughs> oh man, I don't play much electric. As you can tell. Alright, computer search. We'll see if he does try and get the knockout here. You can see though how nice this Sudo Wudo is, but it's not helping us when he's attacking a Glissapod. It's a hard matchup when you can't get the combo of Kukui Choice Band off. Oh, he's knocking at Wudo. Okay, we still have our stretcher though, right? Yeah, we still have our stretcher. We could even do Karen if we're crazy. It's only one prize though, too, so that's nice. Okay, can we draw a stretcher? Another energy. Bro, stop. That's not what I'm looking for. Don't know where to put this. Put on the other Raichu, I guess. Looks like we're gonna have to let him have a big bench here, which really does suck. Actually, we could end to four. Let's try, okay, let's try this. Let's end him to four. Let's see if this matters. I mean, obviously, once he gets this award, we can play. It's like rip. Oh my gosh, we cannot find our choice bands or our versus seekers to save my life. Not much I can really get rid of. I guess Ultra Ball, yeah, that's a dead card. We'll hit him with Raikou and we'll see if this does anything. I mean, if we see an Ace Rolla, it's like all over. He hasn't even played to be a Seeker yet. And there's an Evo Soda. Uh, Zora Glispa, man, it's so evil. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be a seeker, dude. We are so screwed. We are so done for, guys. There's, like, nothing we're going to be able to do here. Yep, there it is. And it's probably an ace roll. We could even do Guzma if you wanted to and get two prizes. Yep. If only we were, if only I didn't if I got rid of that Kikui early on, I probably could have taken out a Glissapod here. He's taking out Coco too, interesting. Armor press to my brain! Oh, I'm getting brain aneurysms. I actually I think my stretch was prize, wasn't it? Well, considering we keep drawing energy, it probably is.
Might as well just... We're not drawing really well, guys, at the end of the day. Like, the, the, these draws have been pretty, pretty dang bad. We're probably gonna lose just because our draws have been so bad. At the very least, I could try and go out in a blaze of glory and try and do good damage with Raichu. Dang, oh, if he didn't do armor... We had choice, we could've won! Knocked him out! I just said we could've won, we could've knocked him out. See? Like, bro, our draws, we, we would've knocked him out if we had choice band. Though I don't think we'd be able to win the game, because probably, he'll probably be able to find out loved another via secret, but... That is so annoying. Our draws screwed us over, and that's gonna be Lele. For Guzma. So our ghost pod, even in expanded, gives me a headache sometimes, but I'm, we, honestly, I kind of take blame for not getting rid of that Kikui early on, because if I did that, I would have been able to take out an, a ghost pod early on. I just didn't do it. Well, lesson learned, I'm going to do it again. If it happens again, I'm going to do it instead of not doing it. Because that was just a bit of a noob mistake. But I blame our draws there at the end. They were pretty horrible. We couldn't get any, like, DS Seekers or Choice Bands or anything to help us out. Alright, let's see what we draw, uh, start with. Okay, we got a Bridget start, which is good. We have Ultra Ball for Lele, too. If I can just say Water Psychic deck, so I'm only assuming it's like... It could be Toad's a Viper. Who knows? Oh, Toad's a Viper would be fine, I guess. I don't know. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be. I think we're going first. Okay, it's Greninja. Alright, so Greninja is going to be a bit of an interesting game. Part of me even wants to put Sudo Wudo in play. Just... Because... Nah... Nah, double, dyna double Dynamo. Yeah, Sudo Wudo is stupid. I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to go for Sudo Wudo. Alright, let's pass. Like, the thing with Sudowoodo, when you're playing with Greninja, they already have a tight bench with Staryu, and when you force them to have only, like, four bench spots, this could hurt them with their water duplicate, especially if they need bench room for, like, Lele or Feeny, or they play, like, an Octillery or something. Oh my god, don't tell me you don't have anything. Not guaranteed to win, obviously, but... If we don't have anything, we're gonna win the game once again. Never mind. We're gonna see an end. It kinda sucks, though. I had a really good hand there. But, it's fine. Maybe keeping field blower is gonna make a difference. Who knows? Okay, well that works as a hand. I think we'll put Raichu down, and I'll probably Ultra Ball for Raichu GX. All right, my opponent will be able to live. He will be able to live the turn, but we're probably gonna be able to knock him out. Oh, Stretcher, that's actually a nice card to see get discarded. Oh yeah, I know I said I was gonna make a expanded Greninja video, but I never did. I never got to do it. Oh wait. Okay, my eyebrow is even even raised even more. Did you just grab a star beam? I guess he has Froakie in his hand, right? That doesn't even make any sense, because we could so easily knock out Froakie next turn. Okay, I... never mind. Never mind. I am even more confused right now. Alright, let's see. Are we gonna be able to knock him out here? We have 8 energy, alright. If we whiff an energy, this could be a little weird. I think Starmie could paralyze me. So, who knows? Maybe I could've dropped Lele and got rid of Karen. That's whatever. Got him. Okay, that was a little weird. I don't know why my opponent grabbed Starmie. I don't know what he's playing, to be honest with you. Um, and before it's like Starmie break Kaparas. No, it is Greninja. Why would he grab Starmie? Unless, like, all his Greninjas were prized. I don't know. Well, I'm glad we won that game. I'll do another game, because that barely even counted as a game, obviously. Uh, Alright, guys, let's get one last match with our Raichu GX expanded deck. And uh, we'll see if we can get another good game with the deck before I wrap up the video here. So who knows. Raichu, been a little disappointing, yeah, especially because they're playing in Zoark, so... 
Yeah, it looks like Raichu has been not doing it. It hasn't been doing good for me. Um, I don't like this deck that much. It's not been winning very well for me. So, my opponent does hit me with a heart hello. If I can move my mouse. We'll hit him with a heart and a hello. We'll see if we can... I mean, we probably are playing against another Zorg deck. So we'll see if it even matters. If we can pull off... Oh, it's like the four Zorg deck I've played against. Oh, it's not. It's Trevenant. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was going to be a Zorg deck. I guess not. I don't know. Like, the types kind of matched up? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's like Grass Trev. We'll see. I thought it was a Zorg deck. I was like, oh, another Zorg deck? Like, come on, man. This <laughs> is so like the four Zorg deck I've played against. I don't want to play against any more Zorg. Well, he still has Zork, but judging from the Phantoms, maybe I don't have to worry too much. Kinda sucks we couldn't get energy and play this turn. Hold on, let's just do Battle Top first. Get one in the discard. Is it worth it to bridge it here? I might even just end him. Like, I kinda just wanna end him here. Nah, let's just. Yeah, Bridge is probably better. Yeah. Sucks we can't get energy in play, but I think Bridge is probably the better play here. Maybe I should have played that Battle Compressor if he's playing the Grass Trev, but I don't think Raikou's gonna get knocked out. We only have four cards in our hand. Could be playing Skyfield, though. We gotta watch out for that. And our Citadel Widow is prized. Ilma! Ilma might actually be a funny card. If N doesn't get a reprint by the time uh, rotation happens and it becomes Sun and Moon on, Ilma could become a meme. Okay, he's playing that so far, so that's what, something we gotta watch out for. Raikou will be knocked out here if he attacks me with that. So, yeah, Raikou, please don't go down. I put you up for a reason, because you're bulky. No! Ugh, oh, come on. Yeah, so much for being bulky, Raikou. Can't even take a hit from Zoark. Raikou, I am disappointed. You suck. Float zone. No thank you, but I guess I gotta play it. Alright, we'll do battle comp. I'll get rid of Get rid of Guzma and Energy. Just if I can get double Tynamo here or double electric. We can get two energies in play. Okay, we don't, but we do get one. We do have... Okay, I really wish I put on the active, but I wasn't expecting to draw that uh, Rest Stretcher, because I would have probably brought out Raikou again. I don't know, actually, maybe it wasn't a good idea to do that. I guess it's fine to keep the float on the bench, because if he knocks me out, we can at least go into that Fear Treater and do another Dynamotor. I'm going to pass. Don't want to put any more Pokemon down in case he can do extra damage. Could have played Field Blower, but there's only one tool in play, no stadiums. I kind of want to save the Field Blower, because I have only I want. Pokepuff. Alright, so he forces Pikachu down. At least it's not a Lele. If you... St okay. Via Seeker. I think he... He's done to use mine. <laughs> Dude, I'm crying inside. I'm getting wrecked by Zoark right now. Are you serious? I shouldn't have done that, Bridget. I really regret right that. I'm just gonna try and go into Tapu Coco here. We'll see if uh, I can get Coco going. That's kind of gonna be the game plan here. We just need to get <clears throat> an Ultra Ball or something. 
And we whiff, bruh. We would whiff that Ultra Ball too. Come on. At least it doesn't have any more Zorks down. So once we get rid of this thing, the threat will be gone. If I had any more energies, actually, do I have another? I don't think I have any more energies in the discard, do I? No, I don't. Rip. I could have knocked him out if I had another one in the discard. So I could have went another Dynamotor. Di Dynamotor. I said Dynamotor. I meant Dynamotor, yeah. So we'll do a uh, rough seize. We could get delinquented in before Rip. I guess we got to sacrifice this Raichu. That's fine. 20 HP. It makes me wish I played Flying Flip. Okay, the Field Blower is a little annoying because we obviously needed that Float Stone. I think that was our other one, right? No, okay, never mind. The good thing is, he hasn't really done much other than just attacking with the Soark. That's good. He's gonna end me to six. Okay. I need to get an energy here or like a float. I might have to go into Raikou though if worse comes to worse. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do that. Never mind. Sucks I gotta sacrifice Raichu. That was just a bad end. Like all we needed was like an Ultra Ball or something. Counter energy. Mm hmm. That's not gonna save him though. I guess we can end him here. If actually we can't, right? We only play two. Never mind. <sighs> Sucks. Oh, that works. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just hit him with Raikou Q because we can actually go into it. I can still end him, which is nice. It's not over yet. Trevor didn't could be interesting, we'll see how much damage it does. I mean, he could be playing the item lock one, like, who knows, but... If he will, I don't know. Probably not, though. Probably not. So we'll end him here, see what we <laughs> get. Okay, a bunch of items. I did get Floatstone, which is kinda nice. And I think I'm just gonna burn as many items as I can. So that Trevenant doesn't do too much damage. Sure. Move forward delinquent, but it's fine to do this, I think. So yeah, we only have one item in our hand now, so... If he does go into that Trevenant, we're not in too much, ish too much issue, too much worry. It's only one prize, though, so it kind of sucks. But Raikou can kind of sweep for now. One more energy, he's going to one-shot most things. Let's see my opponent gets going. Do we have a Guzma the discard? We do. Okay, so he's gonna Pokey Puff me. It's fine though. If he puts a Zora down, I'll, Zorua down, I'll just Guzma it out. So we're gonna see a Sycamore here. Getting rid of another Zoark, which is good. How many Via, how many via Secrets do I have left? Okay, we still have two more after this one. Or three more in the situation we are in. So, Ultra Ball, probably gonna grab a Zarua, but that's fine. I will knock it out unless we see a Fuel Blower. Actually, no, it's fine. Right, we can just Dine Motor Lele. I keep. Man, do I not know how to play this deck? Honestly. Alright, so. We're gonna take out the Zarua so we don't have to worry about any more Zoarks. And from there, go from there. So we still have other Guzma in the deck, too, so we still have three Guzmas chilling in the deck somewhere, technically. Oh, he's going into Lele, though. That's fine. Maybe I should have just put the Choice Bane on Raichu, then. Probably should have done that. Because then I can Thunder the Lele. Still have one choice band left. It's only one prize though on this Zarua, so I don't know 
how this is going to work. We'll see. Or I could have ace rolled, but I gotta knock out that Zorua. I could even take out a Rangu and get rid of Strong Sport, but we'll get rid of the Zorua. I could even just knock him out with a Raichu here. I think I'm just gonna not. Nah, we'll, because Raichu takes damage. We're even. If at any point he does get a Zorark in play, it'll just be worse. Might as well just give up on price. Take our prize, we'll see what it is. Okay, there's Coco, so. We actually will be able to. Wait, no, counter. Does counter G count? Hmm, no, it would. Never mind. Counter G would not count. Okay, be a seeker, probably for Sycamore, unless he ends me. Nope. Okay, put the DC down, so we'll, uh, we'll Coco that Lele next turn. Only problem is, Zoroark is going to be very scary. Okay, so low on via Seekers, though, he's only got one left. It's gonna be a big turn. Okay, it is a big turn, he did not get a Zorua. We can draw via Seeker, that'd be really nice if I can end him. An end would be really good here. Nope. Alright, at least we can knock him out, because he did put that other DC down. So we can go into Arrow Trail. Still have another energy which we can use for thunder at some point. I don't know, and uh, we can knock out this Lele. We'll take our two prizes. I need to get like another supporter. How many? I don't even know how many Sycamores I played. Hopefully, we can find it if I do have one. All right, there it is. Nice. The full bench is a little bad. We don't have another Guzma, so if he benches the Zarua, this is probably over. But I don't know. He might not even have any like Guzmans left. Kiwi, okay. Trainer's Mail. That's a card I haven't seen in ages. And it got an Ultra Ball, which means he's gonna have a Zorua. Which is not good for me. Unless he doesn't have any in his deck, and he does. <sighs> There's really no way I can get that Raikou back into play, and I can't knock him out with Electric. Jeez, he's still doing 110 damage. Oh, Guzma. Okay. That works. Okay, we can take out that Zorua. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll... Guzma this. Might as well keep sick. It's like 30 damage. And before he actually knocks me out. Try and dump those cards so I don't draw them. And we'll powerful spark him. Okay. Trevenant, unless he like plays some kind of surprise card. Please don't be an item. Okay, good. Now, Coco shouldn't... Oh, well, if he does get a choice band, I guess. A Guzma choice band would knock me out. I don't know. He's played quite a few of his tools. We'll see if he actually does get a Guzma choice. Okay, nope. Sycamore, as long... Oh, and he had the Zor. DC2, rip. That would have been so... That would have been bad. Alright. Energy to two for two. Probably just burning cards. This should be game unless he's got some of his sleeve. He did have the choice band, so. Looks like it was close. And that is game. Alright, well, 
nice one. Let's do this. Well, that was an interesting match. Uh, GG to my opponent. I know you were a fan of GGDU Studios. And, uh, yeah, that will uh, wrap up that game. I really need to cough. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 3,000 subscribers. It's 2018. My New Year's resolution is to hit 3,000 subscribers, or at least, like, 3,500, 4,000 by the end of the year. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on another PDCGO video. Have a good day. And, yeah, bye.